eke alleluia praise the lord oluwa afe gba won eyan ni iyanju oro re lord we have we want to exhort your people as e gbadura pe ki o fun won ni oye and we pray that you give them understanding ki won le mo ti anso that they may understand what we are talking about amen amen ara kunrin atara birin friends and brethren afe gba yin ni iyanju oro we want to exhort you about the word of god koko on ta fe so le lori ni wakati yi the gist of what we want to talk about o je o afe so nipa agbara ti jesus fun awon omo leyin re is the power that Jesus has given to us his disciples to ba mo nipa agbara yi if you know about this power but ti do mo leyin jesus christi but if you are not a disciple of jesus yet mo fe ko wa do mo leyin jesus i want you to become his disciple to pe ni gba yin lo le lo agbara jesus because that is when you can have access to this power of jesus to pe jesus je olorun because jesus is god lo se ni ashe That's why he has the authority to give us his disciples the power because all power in heaven and on earth belongs to him. And that's why he said we should go into the world and that he give gave us power to perform all the kind of works he did when he was on earth. He said he's with us unto the end of the age. You might think that perhaps he was talking to his disciples at that time but that's not applicable to us who are on earth today. But here's what the Bible tells us all the promises he gave his disciples at that time be lo fun awa ta tele ti di pope ami are given to us who are his disciples to the end of the world because in the book of mark ori kerin di nogun chapter 16 lati ese kerin di nogun verse 16 ki lo so gbagba pe he says clearly that ami won yi this sign yo ma tele shall follow gbugbu awon to ba gba mi gbo them that believe in me titi do pa yin ni awon the end of the world because the bible says titi aye forever more ni oro re oluwa that word is settled in heaven if your olorun di mule the word of god has been established unto the end of the world yet mo fin so pe that's why i say ile to se fun awon moleyin yin gba na the promises given to his disciples at that time are given unto us also at this time we can hold on to those promises now and we are holding on to them and we are using those promises even as it worked for them then that's how it's also working for us today that is why we want to reveal to you that you might also use this power, this power of jesus when you become a disciple of jesus the power of jesus will work for you that to protect you to help you at all times hallelujah hallelujah we want to show you this power the authority of the believer this is the authority of the believer i like to tell you a story that you might know that these are not just for the educated only don't think that this is only for those who have gone to the seminary or those who are ordained reverend because that's what many people think these power is for anybody who believes in Jesus even if you believe that this power works works for you it shall be for you that's the first thing we want you to know ni ni kan about 30 years ago opopopo odun many years ago and she soji kan ni ile iwe giga kan we were doing we were having a revival in a high school ni kan bi ni adugbo ibi ta n pe ni ede in in uh, the town of ede and we called all the high school students and they all gathered and we were conducting a revival for about seven days in one of the seven days i, I remember that there was a particular program where we divided ourselves into small groups 
And each of us uh, was leading some of the high school students, teaching them of the word of God. And I remember one of the teachings I gave to the students. These were students of about 16 or 18 years old. And we told them how they can also use this power that's in Jesus. That he has given us power for healing. That we can actually heal ourselves. And that we don't have to seek for any prophet to or apostle. If you can believe Jesus as we are teaching you now. That you can also pray for yourself. And I was beginning to sh I started showing them scriptural verses. That they might know and understand the promises of God. There was a young person among these people who had a disease that were, which is called kata. And he constantly had a cold. As, this was as he was speaking. And he requested that I pray for him regarding this problem. Then I said, from what I've told you, I don't have to pray for you. You can lay your hands upon yourself. Lay your hands upon your own nose. And claim the promise of God. That Jesus says these signs shall follow them that believe in me. Do you believe yourself, don't you? He said, yes, he believes. And I said, lay your hands upon your nose, because Jesus says, if they shall lay their hands upon the sick, they shall recover. That's one of the authorities of the believers, that the believers have in Jesus. And this child laid his hands upon his nose, and after leaving the place, we went back to the general congregation, and he stood up, this young man stood up, and testified to this power. Nobody even sent him to go testify. Right among the whole congregation, he testified. And his testimony was that in the little groups, after the brother has told him, he went to his own room, laid his hands upon his nose, and quoted the scriptures and he said instantly the nose that was dripping with kata stopped that he stopped immediately and we all clapped and gave God the glory and that's what I want you to know that this power we are talking about is for all believers he who knows he should tell the one that doesn't know and that's why we are telling you now Jesus has sent us this that we should continually exhort others that whosoever believes in Jesus if you lay your hands upon the sick in the name of Jesus, they shall recover. That's one of the authorities of the believer. In this Mark chapter 16, we want to read to you from verse 16. Those who believe and are baptized will be saved. But those who refuse to believe will be condemned. And those who believe and this sign shall follow them that believe. And these are the signs. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. And they shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I'll show you one sign here. As we have read in the Bible, where some might be questioning where this is in the Bible, that like whom? 
And the book of Acts of the Apostles, Paul, one of the, the apostles of Jesus, he was on an island where the sheep has uh, capsized and they found themselves in the island. Upon the island, they were trying to set up a fire and Paul was because he was cold when he was gathering the firewood a serpent you know stung him even as it is written in Mark chapter Jesus 16, okay. but Jesus has said that he shall take up, take up serpents, he shall, not, he shall not hurt them. This particular serpent hurt Paul, but the people in the island, they knew how horrible and poisonous the snakes were, and anybody that the snakes stung, and if they did not quickly take care of them, Time, after a few minutes, they will die and die. But why when the serpent stung Paul? Paul was a believer and he knew the promise of Jesus. He knew the power in the commandments of Jesus. He was not even bothered at all. He took the serpent and removed it into the fire and he cleaned his hands and he went on his and way the people of the island were looking at him that maybe this man doesn't know that he has been stopped by the serpent does he not know the power of this serpent does he not know that this is a very poisonous serpent and they were looking that in a few minutes perhaps he will fall down and die and he shall swell up but no that did not happen to Paul he did not fall down and when they looked for him for about an hour and nothing happened to him then they began to wonder maybe he was a god and what we are saying is this, that these signs shall follow them that believe in Jesus if you believe in Jesus it doesn't say you should go and be carrying serpents all over but if a serpent stings you as you're going on your walk and you remember the promise of God and you pray about it you shall not be bothered and the same with serpents that represent evil spirits they shall not bother the believer if we believe in Jesus Christ and believe what Jesus has promised us these signs are for the believers and those that are believed and are baptized shall be saved let's show you some more of the authority that's given to the believers in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19 Jesus gave us a promise Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. This is Jesus' promise. You might say, well, but Jesus has died. But no, he, did, he resurrected from the dead. He rose from the dead. And so he's alive forevermore. And that's why he has the boldness to say, go up in my name. And he said, we should do this work. Nothing shall by any means hurt us. He said, he's with us unto the end of the world. How is it so? Because Jesus is God. We know that God is everywhere. And he's able to do all things. But because Jesus is God. That's why he's everywhere. And he says very clearly. That where two or three. All three. Are gathered, are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst of 
them. Oh, Allah, he is in our midst our right midst now. Because two of us are oh, speaking Allah, to you well. now. He's among us and now. And those who are our oh, listeners, he is with you right now. Because anytime we are speaking the word of God on the radio, Jesus says he's there among you. If you can believe, if you can believe in this Jesus, Jesus and open up for Jesus, he's ready to walk with you. And his promise shall become yours. And the angels of Jesus shall be with you to protect you and help you. And Jesus says he will give you something. He says he will give you the Holy Spirit that will live within you. And you will begin to have power. The, the, the Yorubas talk about a special power that if they have taken that power and they will begin to give them power from within there is no such a thing except the name of Jesus that you might have this assurance Jesus is going to give you that down payment that is that the Holy Spirit will begin to reside within your heart if the Holy Spirit lives in your heart that is the power from within Within. And this is greater than any medicine you can eat in your body. It's better than any medicine that anybody can give to you. Because all power in heaven and on earth is in the Holy Spirit. Because we know that the Holy Spirit is God. And God is not three, is it? No, God is not three. He is only one God. And He is the one that is going to be living in your heart. Heart. He has that much power to, to live in any for every one of us to help us. We want to tell you more about another promise of Jesus. He says he has given unto us power over all the powers of the enemy. In the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 64, Chapter 54. From verse 16. Isaiah chapter 54. Verse 16. Jesus gave us an, a promise, another promise. But here is God speaking here. You might think. I want you to know that Jesus is God. In, in the verse 15, he says. Behold, in gathering they shall gather, but not by me. Anybody anybody that rises against you shall fall because of you. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the water to destroy no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn listen to this this is the heritage of the servants of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. This is another promise of the believer. The, believer the power of God shall protect you. Says, no weapon that is formed against you, anybody that forms against you, they shall not prosper. Let us tell you another testimony told unto to me by somebody else. Said, many, many years ago around Lagos, there were so many medicine men that were trying their power. 
Somebody entered into a bus. Ni uba or mi ni ibito din wo moto bus sha. At a bus station. No be ni ita ni kosa bu abu o she in kokon sha. Somebody was there. Other people were there watching. Ni ogbo ogbo ni oni ologun ba fe ni so pe. And the medicine man said. Oni o so pe o ba ogbo ni na o fe gba enikan ja sha. He wanted to fight with this other person. Ba so pe emi lo nba wi se. He said are you talking to me? Ba ni logan logan ki o nto ma bo sha. And then he began to tell him to be started remove his clothes. The medicine man was commanding that this other person should be removing his clothes. And he should be removing his clothes. He wanted to talk, talk turn him naked. Here's what happened. The man that he spoke to him, mm-hmm. the medicine started affecting him, mm-hmm. and it's almost started removing his clothes mm-hmm. as if he was running mad. Mm-hmm. There was a disciple of Christ around there mm-hmm. that saw what was happening, mm-hmm. and he was, uh, he was angry, mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. and he went there that he might face the man that has the medicine. I say in the name of Jesus I speak against this medicine I command I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus He said you man begin to wear your clothes again. In the name of Jesus I spoil the power of the medicine And it was so The medicine was stopped That's how we know there is power in Jesus We have used Use that power is in Jesus greater than all powers of the medicine that don't fear any of this medicine men anymore. The authority of the believer in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, from verse 18 to verse 19. It is written there like about the power that Jesus has given to the disciples to all them that believe in him the power remains till today. Verily I say unto you whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Let us say it again. Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I say unto you also that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven you can see this authority that has been given to the disciples Jesus wants us to be in peace he wants us to have confidence he knows what we fear he knows what, what we desire to have and is willing to give unto us all that we have and he wants to take away all our sorrows and fear that's why he gave us the promise in Mark 16 and if you read verses 16 to 18 you'll see and you begin to ask yourself what are do men fear they fear death what 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 what, what kills them the poison jesus jesus said that if they have shan't handle serpents they shall not hurt them. what is it that kill people again? they are afraid of poison given to them by enemies they are afraid of medicine given to them by the given it to them in their food. But what did Jesus say? He said if they drink anything that is dead, it shall not hurt them. What else do men fear? 
they fear disease and Jesus promised to lay their hands upon the sick in my name they shall recover Jesus loves men the Bible in fact says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life that's what we are saying that Jesus has given unto us his disciples plenty of promises to give us confidence in this world that we shall not be afraid of the devil anymore that we shall not be afraid of any enemy anymore don't even think that man is your enemy the devil is the enemy because if he's going to send anybody he can send the devil if you if if your enemy is is uh, is a medicine man he's going to send a spirit of the devil but i want you to know that if you are for jesus you have power over all evil spirits and that's why jesus said that in my name I, you shall cast out evil spirits that is demons must bow down to you whatsoever you say they must obey and that's why you have power over all the powers of the enemy so be not afraid of any enemy anymore if, if even if they are doing medicine you might say well my my, my enemies are not medicine people that they shoot people they might come to my house and use their cutlass yeah, and yes, guns. That's, that's why Jesus point. promised that yeah, we are we ready you. In the book of Isaiah, in, in, in chapter 54, in chapter 54 of Isaiah, verse 16, that God is the one that makes the smith. He says he's even the one that makes the killer. He said no weapons. Yeah. That includes cutlasses and guns. No, no weapons fashioned against you shall prosper. If you are in Jesus, if you are in Jesus, the Bible says that that name of God is is a, is, a, is a secure place where so the righteous runneth into it and they are safe. That's what we are promising you now. Let's show you more of the promises in the Bible. In the, in the book of Psalms, chapter 91, let us say, from verse 9 there are many promises in there look at verses 7 and verse 8 many promises are in that scripture so they that trust in the Lord we shall dwell in the secret place of the most high great promises are in the book of Psalms go read it yourself and you will see that that's why you should trust in the mercy of God you might say well that's only for the righteous but Jesus wants to make you righteous what we call being born again it, it makes you righteous he wants to make you righteous when Jesus begins to live in in your heart, he will take away sin so from your heart because we know that all the promises in the Bible are for the righteous for them whose sins have been forgiven for them whose sin has been taken away from their heart Jesus wants to redeem you when you become a disciple of Jesus and you come unto Jesus Jesus will give you his Holy Spirit and you shall not sin anymore in the First John chapter 3, chapter 
and speak after us. Jesus Christ, all these promises, I want them to become mine. I want to live with you. Turn me into your child. Take away sin from my heart. Amen. God, we pray for these people. Let the spirit of sin depart from them, that they may have boldness to hold on to the word of God, to follow the commandments of Jesus from today, that they might become disciples of Jesus, that the authorities of the believer might belong to them, and that their prayers will be answered, demons will bow down for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Write on to us, and we shall send right to Evangelist Julius Ade Gospel Distribution Ministry. If you have access to the internet, our web address is www.gospeldistribution.org. You have to spell that one out, gospeldistribution.org. Gospel distribution is one word. www.gospeldistribution.org. And you can send us email on the internet. Our web our email address is webmaster at gospeldistribution.org webmaster at gospeldistribution.org and you can also read all our literature on the internet freely. God bless you and see you, we see you again next